Welcome back to more Shard Light! Alright, things are heating up. Why are you following me? Nelson, does this mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That page is from one of my art books. There was a young lady here several years ago who was reading it, and when she got to that page, she became very upset and tore it out. Ran off screaming about the Reaper. It was very odd. The Reaper? Yes, I think she said something about having seen him. As I said, it was many years ago. It's difficult to remember. That's fine. Thanks for the information. The aristocracy strives to keep you safe from those who would destroy really our way of life. Now. Drink from the well. I'm not interested in any of this. I don't want to show her again. She seemed pretty freaked out. Excuse me? Yes? Have a good day. May death come to you. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, but I had some questions for you. I'll be happy to answer them. No. I'll no questions. Time. It's of no use to me. This is still in really good condition. It might be worth having. Gank? Another old road sign. Doesn't look like people could go very fast around here. Doesn't look like he's been here that long. Poor guy. We need to clean up in aisle seven. What's up, cutie? It definitely feels like there's something behind the canvas, but I can't rip it with my bare hands. I'll rip it. I'll rip it with shrapnel. This can't be a coincidence. Someone is leaving me a trail. This symbol looks familiar. Where have I seen it before? Hmm. I wonder what this key unlocks. Nothing useful. I don't think I should get too close. You should. He might still be erect. Hmm. Very similar to the coin I have. The symbol on this token matches the one on the train. Huh. The 
fits perfectly. What was that noise? It's no good. Looks like it all evaporated quite a while ago. What are those doing in here? These look like the types of books Nelson collects. Take them, we can hawk them off to the old man. Doesn't seem to have done much. We need to get this train moving. It's beautiful. Hatch, briefcase, man, lock, two, five, one, penis. It would probably disintegrate if I touched it. I think I remember Dad having this exact same one in his shop. I can't do much with the plaque except read it. Most of the text is faded, but I can make out the words McNulty Hatch Corp at the bottom. something coming from the next car. We got that hatch open. Whoa, Stay bitch! Right there. Keep your hands where I can see them and don't make any sudden moves. Now who are you and what are you doing on my train? My name is Amy Wellard, and I mean you no harm. I'm a friend. A friend, huh? You can't fool me. I know a scavenger when I see one. Lucky for you, I'm not in the mood to clean up any messes today. I'll let you see yourself out, but if you touch anything, you're gonna have to answer to old Betsy here. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Come on out here, you old flea bag. Ain't nothing too dangerous out here. I know, I know, I'll feed you now, you old beggar. Still here, huh? I got my eye on you, so don't try anything funny. This is just like the one mom and dad used to have. It looks like it's missing the needle, but fixing it wouldn't be too tough. Especially if we had the arm of a record player. I don't see how I can use that there. You, you, are you stupid? I don't, I don't, I don't. It fits on there, bitch, trust me. I don't see. I don't see. Uh. Fits perfectly. That should work now. Oh, you're so picky. Turning the crank wouldn't do much, considering there's no records to play. Uh, hi. What is it? Your record player's fixed? Is that right? And what exactly are you expecting from me in return? Nothing. Look, I'm not here to get something from you. Why I'm here has nothing to do with you. Well, that's how the world works. 
Nobody does something good for nothing. Some people do. I think you've been out here so long, you've forgotten humans can be good once in a while. This world eats good people for breakfast. I don't know what you're looking for, but I hope you find it. I just want you to know, I've got the perfect life. Yeah, so do I. Can't ask for more than what I got here. Do you live here all alone? No! I got that fatso over there to keep me company, and it suits me fine. Where did you find all these things? I haven't seen living trees in the wastes for a long time. I didn't find it anywhere. It's all mine. I just carted it all out here when I shacked up on this train. Where did you come from? The city. Where do you think? Surviving in the wastes can't be easy. It's not so tough. I grow my own food here, and whatever I need, I just find around the hinterlands. You never go into the city? Nah, nothing left for me there. I haven't been back since the bombs fell, and I see no reason to. What do you know about the Reaper? The Reaper? I remember hearing some rumors about a guy they were calling the Reaper, way back, around the time the plague started. Supposedly there were some burrs that many was coming to kill you, but I never ran into him myself. Hadn't thought about that in years, actually. I'll just be on my way. Alrighty. Hey, where did you find that? Over near Sector 67, do you know anything about it? I noticed the logo on the coin was the same as on this train. It's the logo for South Coast Transit. They own this railroad along with the public transportation system in the city. That there is a subway token. Before the blast, people would use those to ride the train underneath the city. Really? I had no idea there was an underground train in the city. Doesn't surprise me. Almost all the stations collapsed after the blast. There's only one left standing. Where can I find it? It's not too far from the quarantine zone. Just head up Ross Avenue and keep your eye out for the Wallies. The station is right next to it. Be careful down there. There's a whole network of tunnels. Don't want you to get lost. Don't worry. I'm not planning on wandering around any tunnel mazes. I think that bitch wants us to get lost. What a cut! Alright, let's go fucking look for Wally's. Wally's world. More dead fucks. I wonder if this person died trying to escape the quarantine zone. I can't think of anything I could do with that. You could climb it and jump off and shut the fuck up. I think Wally's used to be a pretty famous department store. I vaguely remember mom and dad talking about it. The letter L looks like it's pretty close to falling off. Well, let's help it out, shall we? did it. There, that should work. It's like a damn bridge. It's stuck. Well, it accepted my token. Great, another collapse. Formerly part of the ceiling, from the looks of things. Whoa! Motherfucker's about it's to lock up. Too tightly to undo by hand. A nice piece of rope and a freed mannequin. Two birds with one stone. 
Looks like this person was crushed by the ceiling. What an awful end. I mean, your colon could rupture. Nice dress. I wonder when that style was last in fashion. 1927. Creepy. Those are some nice gloves it's got on, though. They're not in bad shape. Won't be much use if I need to protect my hands, though. I'll be needing the vacuum cleaner. Well, what about this? What about an anchor? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, put that in your panties. What else can we beat the shit out of? Doesn't look like they're even worth examining for parts. This fridge still looks like it's doing okay. I can beat it with a bat. I don't think I'll be... I don't think smashing up the refrigerator will do much. I'm not... A pe I don't see how I can... Hmm. This isn't in as good a condition as I thought. Only useful part in here is this fuse. I might as well hang on to it. There. That wasn't so tough. They're not in bed. I sure hope this works. Here goes nothing. Anticipated. What is this place? I don't know. That's a giant fucking green shard, though. Reminds me of the one in the Rebel hideout. I wonder if there was once a raven in there. No, that's where we kept a three-year-old kid. It's fake. I hope. Aha! Uh -huh. Just what I thought. They're mechanical. Mm-hmm. And they're tripping on mushrooms. Weird. I wonder what these are for. Um, tripping. Balls. Tripping balls. Anatomy, infectious diseases, biology. Quite a collection. This one right here says how to be an awesome YouTuber. Full of lots of unmarked bottles. I wonder what they're for. Just as I suspected. Empty. I don't need them. I don't need... I don't, I don't need... I, I don't need them either. Bitch. Reminds me of an old dress-up doll I used to have when I was a kid. I'm not leaving here until I figure out what this place is. It's a raven workshop. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. These look like... Full of lots of unmarked... Full... Ah. Uh -huh. These look... These look... Weird. Oh shit! Who the fuck? What the fuck?
Ah, Amy Willard. You found me. I was hoping you would. How did you... I realize you probably have many questions. You're goddamn right, Jack. I can give you all the answers you need. But first, allow Jack me to make Reaper. myself more presentable. So you are human. Yes. I'm sorry to disappoint you if you were expecting more. I, I was. I don't know I'm disappointed. What I was expecting, to be honest. You told me you were a doctor. Yes, Dr. Edwin Aquino, at your service. I was once the leader of the Green Lung Vaccine Development Team, but after learning about their vaccine distribution, or lack thereof, that quickly changed. Hang on, you knew about the vaccine hoarding? Why didn't you tell anyone? That would have started violent riots. It's not fair to begin a civil war when it would end without a cure for the illness. I wanted to say something. It hurt not to, but the time wasn't right. You didn't think the people deserved to know? They do, and they will. But not while we only have a vaccine and not a cure. With a permanent cure, the aristocracy's hoarding becomes irrelevant, and the focus will be on eradicating the disease. I... I guess that makes sense. Hmm, not really. Why the mechanical ravens? What do they do? Rather clever little inventions, wouldn't you say? They have video transmitters in their eyes and audio transmitters in their beaks. I use them as scouts, since I can control them remotely. Did you make them? No, someone else did, a long time ago. In any case, they've served me quite well, at least the ones that haven't broken. I have very few left, which is going to be a problem at some point. You've been following me with your birds. Why am I of such interest to you? You did a lottery job for the Ministry of Energy. That's right. What of it? You've got the disease. You're fighting to survive. You're clever and resourceful. Exactly what I need. Exactly what do you need? After I left the Ministry of Medicine, I began my attempts at developing a permanent cure for green lung. It was a long process, which took over ten years, but just last month, I had a breakthrough and was able to make this. Is that? Yes, this is the cure for green lung. I've been testing it and it seems to work, but I need to be certain. Aside from that, I don't have the information necessary to mass produce the cure, though I suspect Tiberius keeps it somewhere in the Ministry of Energy. So what is it you need from me? We're both fugitives, Amy. I can't put myself at risk by going to the places I need to. If I'm killed or captured, my research will have all been for nothing. You can clearly take care of yourself. I saw how you handled things at Rockwall Prison and Willowdale Plaza. You helped me out both of those times. I merely provided some assistance. Your survival was your own doing. Now I realize it's a bit much to ask, but your help would be incredibly valuable. Not just to me, but to the future of humanity. It's not really much to ask. I owe you my life, after all. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate it. The main thing I need is to find out where Tiberius is keeping my research on mass production. At some point, I'll also need a subject to test the cure on, so I can be absolutely sure it works. Do you have any questions? Why do you dress like that? Intimidation, mainly. The work I do is not exactly looked upon favorably by the government. So I had to come up with a way to make sure I was left alone. The costume is just to make sure anyone who might happen to see me is scared off. So you knew of the rumors about the Reaper and decided to become him yourself? No, I'm the one who started them. Creating the image of death personified seemed a natural deterrent for anyone who might get too close. Thankfully, the rumors seem to have spread rather quickly over the years. You aren't kidding. There's a whole cult dedicated to worshipping you. Ah, uh, yes. I know of them. An extreme example, but I can't deny it helps my work. Fucking weirdos! About your subject, can I try the cure? I'd like to, but it's far too risky. You are one of my greatest assets right now. If this proves to have any adverse side effects, I'll be without your help. 
Once I can mass produce this, I won't have to be so careful. How can we find the mass production of Achieving a lock, selfless. Ideally, I could use my ravens to go in and locate it, but I only have three working ones left. And as you're well aware, Tiberius's tower is huge. It would take way too long for only three ravens to scan the entire place without being detected. Could I take a look at one of them? Of course. You take a look at my balls. Who did you say made these? A uh, friend in the Ministry of Knowledge. But that was ages ago. I know very little about their design. It isn't too complex, actually. I can fix them for you, no problem. You can? Oh. Sure. See okay, this Anakin. Here? That's the servo. The part that controls the wings. It's worn out, so I just need to replace it with a new one. Are those common? Would we be able to find one or more in the city? Well, I learned about them from working on toy airplanes that my friend had when we were kids. If we could find some, we'd be in business. I got three in my pocket right here. See? Fly the fuck away. Bye-bye, birdie. Yes, excellent. As I suspected, there's a hobby shop which has remained mostly intact further in the city. Ooh, and I can I see they that they have Citadel several paints model and Warhammer figurines. Great, I'll go get them and fix your ravens in no time. Yes, but the store is located in the quarantine zone. Fuck. So, I have nothing to worry about. I'm already infected. You contracting green lung isn't my concern. It's how you're going to get back out. The quarantine zone is designed to keep people from escaping. If I can find a way in, I'll just have to find a way out. Won't I? Fine. While you're there, see if you can bring someone back with you. Someone who has been quarantined will make an ideal subject to test the cure on. I'll see what I can do. Good. Take this then. You fucking creepo. What is it? A two-way communicator. They used to call them walkie-talkies. We can use them to stay connected while you're in there. Can you tell me anything about Tiberius? Quite a bit. I've known him for a very long time, since before the bombs, in fact. Was there anything specific you wanted to know? What was Tiberius like, before the bombs? He was the director of the Ministry of Energy. Of course, back then he wasn't calling himself Tiberius, he was just Julian. He was what? After society collapsed, he took the initiative to reform and establish the aristocracy. His love for history led him to adopt the alias of Tiberius, as well as insisting the other aristocrats take the name of ancient Roman emperors. Why does he wear that awful mask? Anonymity. He felt government leaders are more respected as an institution rather than as people. I can't deny that this approach works extremely well. Has he always been a douchebag? Was he always so evil? I wouldn't call him that. Manipulative, yes. Ruthless, undoubtedly. But not evil. He suffered immense trauma on the day the bombs fell. Everyone did. Not all of us had the wealth to recover so easily. Tiberius lost both his wife and unborn child that day. Wealth or not, that hits a man hard. It left him quite mentally unstable, to be honest. His determination to rebuild society was rooted in trying to cope with his loss. In a way, I felt pity for him. Perhaps too much. What do you mean by that? Nothing. What did he just say to you, dumb bitch? Jesus Christ, you heartless fucker. Strange for him to have a soothsayer for an assistant. How is he qualified? Superstition is a very powerful force. I'm living proof of that. I never had many dealings with the soothsayer, but I believe he came from somewhere outside the city. Tiberius finds comfort in being able to have a channel to the supposed other side. While I don't share his beliefs, I can't particularly fault him for having them. That's all for now. Fair enough. I'll just get to it then. Good luck, Amy. By the way, that doorway back there will allow you to get up and down the tower much easier than climbing. Alright folks, well that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Shark Light. We'll see you soon with more as we take on a dangerous task and we talk to the cart operator here. Mm -hmm.